In this exercise, we're going to write a unit test for the aggregation Kafka Streams application. We've already added the case stream and the required pieces that you already know about. You're going to concentrate on what you need for creating a unit test with a topology test driver. No broker needed. First, you'll add a config to use a mock schema registry. It's an in-memory version of schema registry suitable for unit testing. Now let's create the topology test driver with the application topology and configuration. Note that it's done with try with resources block to ensure that the test driver gets closed at the end of the test. It's important to always close the topology test driver at the end to clean up any state. Next, create a test input topic with the topology test driver factory method create input topic. You'll use this in the test to drive input records into the Kafka Streams application. Now, provide the topic name, key serializer, and value serializer. A Kafka Streams application expects to receive records in byte array format. Next, you'll create a test output topic with another topology test driver factory method create output topic. The test output topic captures results from the streams application under test. To complete the test output topic, add the output topic name, key deserializer, and value deserializer. The streams application output is also in byte array format. Now we need some sample events for the test. Create a list of electronic order objects for input into the topology. Here each object gets created using the builder provided by the generated Avro object code. Next, create the list of expected aggregation results. Note that the TTD does not buffer anything, so each input record emits a new update, similar to the behavior you'd be seeing by setting the cache to zero bytes in the Kafka Streams application. OK, it's time to run some events into the test topology. For each electronic order in the list, we'll pipe it into the Kafka Streams topology using the input topic .pipe input method. Then you'll get the output from Kafka Streams. In this case, you'll read only the values output into a list with the output topic read values to list method, since we only care about the aggregation results. Finally, let's confirm the results of the test by asserting the actual values equal to the expected ones. And here's the test running in IntelliJ. Notice how fast it completes. 